So my name is Aaron Koning. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, uh, specifically Utrecht, which is like in the middle. It's a it's a small town with about 300,000 people there, uh, but it's it's a nice place. So I'm part of Slug Pop Collective, and we're a video game boy band, as we like to call ourselves. Uh, we make a new game every two weeks, and uh, people can subscribe to get those games and it's something new every time that's cool uh how did you um how did you come up with sock Pop collective how did it all form how did it all come together right yeah so sock Pop is uh me and and three others time uh, tom uh ruben and then me and so we we used to do a lot of game jams basically and game jams are like 48 hours even uh, events where you have to make a game so it's it's pretty short to make a game but it is possible and especially if you start doing it more you can sort of get better and better at it and it's yeah it's super fun you just get to be creative all weekend and so that's kind of how we met well when you're when you're making a game uh what do you pull inspiration from like what are you looking at in order to um, put that reference into the game. Right. Yeah. For me personally, like everything that I do in like real life is always a really big inspiration for me. Like, uh, I went to Japan two years ago or one year ago. And, uh, so I, I went to a really cool penguin park there, which was really fun. And it was really cool to see all these penguins there. And then I was like, oh, I, I definitely got to make a game about that like where you feed the penguins and all the penguins like run around around you. And uh, so like stuff like that always is a big inspiration for me. Just fun stuff that I like doing in real life and then sort of trying to figure out, oh, what would it be like if there was a game about this? Or how would that work? One of the other games I made, it's like you're in a forest and you just have a bunch of materials lying around and you can just build whatever. It's like a really, it's what I used to do as a, as a kid, basically just try to make like huts and stuff or like wood bases or forest bases. And I thought that was always really fun. How do you go about making a game? What is the development cycle like? Right, so you initially, for me at least, and I think for most people, you start with sort of a vague idea. So you're like, oh, it would be cool if you could do this and this and this these could be kind of the rules uh, for the for the game and then you basically make a very small version of the game as soon as possible uh, like a, they call that a prototype and then you try to uh, test that with people as soon as possible so you make uh, a very simple version of your game and then you try to find out okay is it going to be fun uh, are people having fun when they play it and based on that, you can sort of figure out, oh, what direction do I want to take this in? Uh, and I think that's really the best way because like you can play your own game and then you might have the feeling like, oh, this, this is the best game ever. People are going to love it. But then when people actually play it, uh, it might be really hard to play or it might just not be fun to play at all. Uh, so having other people around that that, that that can play the game it's like it's it's really fun but it's also really important uh how are you how is your art the things that you make how is it going to be a response to this very weird pandemic time i don't know i tr uh like the last so i had to make a game start making a game for our bi-weekly thing i guess like a bit longer than a month ago it was released last week but I so I was working on it and by then it was already had been going on for a while so, so now I've been like I've been working home for like two months now I think um, and al also not seeing my friends as much so I already made like an online multiplayer game to sort of play with other people so I guess try to yeah that, that felt like it was something that I should do at that time because it was like oh now then I can play with my friends and like it's also making a bunch of my friends Play video games that normally don't really play video games which i think is really fun so i guess i don't know try to make stuff that's like 
fun for everyone. For somebody who is younger um, than either of us, like my students, how would you get into game design and development? Like what software would you use? How would you get into it? So I think what's really cool about like game development and like most stuff that you do on computers nowadays is like, like all creative stuff you can do with computers or just creative stuff in general is that there's so much, there's so many resources on the internet. Like I started also like, I didn't, I did go to school for, for like making games, I guess, more like for programming. But before that, I already spent a couple of years, you know, messing around making small games and making weird, silly stuff. And then like a great tool for that is Game Maker. Um, we like some of us still in Sockpop still use that because it's like really easy and uh, you can really but you can also make it as dance as you want. So it's it's sort of a, a a really great tool and that it's easy to start with and you can also make really cool stuff later on if you get a bit more into it. Um, yeah, and what I think is really fun about what, how you can learn games the best, I think is like trying to make simple stuff. Like uh, maybe for a week decide, oh, I wanna make like, Oh, a remake of a simple tennis game, for example. And then you work on that and maybe you never even finish it. Or you never even release it, but nonetheless, you'll have learned so much and you can go move on to the next thing. And um, So yeah, just like Google everything when you make video games. Like I still do that all the time. And there's so much stuff that I don't know about making games, but there's also so many resources out there that can help you. So I think that's pretty cool. Which one, which Sockbot game is your favorite that you've either made or that the group has made? I think the, the one that the group has made for me is Similand, uh, which is like a card-based uh, god game, uh, which I think is really fun. And my personal favorite I've made is a game called Skidlot where you have to cycle around in a really busy city trying to not get hit by cars. What is the best part about working with your friends? Because all of the, um, all the promo videos you do, y'all just look like you're having fun doing yeah. something that you're passionate about. So like, what's the advantage of that? Uh, so I guess the advantage is that just like, while you're doing it with friends, like everything you do with friends is more fun. It's just kind of a boring answer. But uh, I think that's really true with games as well. Cause like for us, our games are all about having fun. So uh, like, like we're really happy we can share that. And I think we're all just really happy that now we're, uh, we're able to help each other make a bunch of these small games and that that's, the thing we do now, like as work, which is like, if you ask all of us, like a few years back, we've been like, no way. Like, uh, what we've been also thought for a long time, we're just gonna work for an IT company and then maybe make games on the side. And now he's doing it full time. So like stuff like that, like it took quite a long time to get here, but I'm really happy that we sort of stuck together as friends.